This one got blasted in this right rear corner. I have a Dodge Ram here. This one got blasted in this right rear corner. It destroyed this whole corner of the bed. Wow! You can see how all of this is completely folded up, buckled up in here. So it's gonna be getting basically this whole entire side replaced as well as this rear panel piece. However, first I have it up on the frame rack because I wanna pull all this out and get everything just kind of close to where it's supposed to be before I start cutting it apart. Otherwise, I might have problems fitting the new parts up whenever I get to that point. So I'm gonna grab this in a couple ways and try to walk that out. And then I will take the truck back down, lift the bed off the truck, and start cutting it apart. And I'll show you guys how all my new parts come whenever I get to that point. All right, I have the bed off the truck now, ready to cut apart. I have my inner structure here. This goes inside of there. You'll be able to see it better once I get it cut apart. This is my corner piece right here. That's another brace that goes in there. Then I have the inner bedside, the outer bedside and this is the rear panel right here, which goes all the way across the back. So I'm gonna dive into this and start cutting it apart. I'm gonna have to dig out some of the bed liner. It goes all the way across here. That's the seam where the center panel goes in, and then also across here.
So I went ahead and I sat this rear sill piece in so I could go ahead and go through and mark where all of my welds are. Then I will lift it back out and get it all prepped out. So I have this rear panel all welded in as well as the inner structure right here is welded in. So I have this rear panel all welded in as well as the inner structure right here is welded in. Before I weld these corner pieces, I wanted to fit my tailgate because once this is in place, there's really no adjustment. So I have my tailgate on here and my gaps are looking good, nice and even. So I'm going to lift the tailgate back off, lift this bedside back off, and I'm going to get this corner welded together, then I'll get on to the outer bedside.
Now I have these wheelhouse pieces that I have to fit up and get them sitting exactly where they're supposed to. Now I have this sitting right where I want it, so I'm gonna put a couple sheet metal screws and attach it to the inner inner wheelhouse. Then I'll lift the bedside back off and I could get it marked out and go ahead and get the wheelhouses welded to the inner structure. Then I'll put the outer bedside on. So I am on to the outer bedside now. I went ahead and I'm doing a final fitment. I have everything lining up good with the tail light and the tailgate bedside back in this corner. So this one's just about ready to weld. I am going to go ahead and pull the tailgate and tail light back out and I will start welding and get this one welded on. I have this truck bed just about wrapped up. It is ready for our paint department. So I'm gonna send it over to them and they'll get it painted. Then this one's gonna get sent to Linex because they gotta fix all the spray and bed liner in here. I'm not sure exactly how they're gonna do that. I don't know if they'll clean out the whole bottom and respray it or if they somehow blend it in. I have no idea, but that is a wrap on this one.